Hi everybody, I'm Miss Lisa from the West Osceola Library and I have a book I'd like to share with you today. This book is titled Only One You and it was written by Linda Krantz. Part of the reason I wanted to share this book with you today is because it's illustrated in a different way. Instead of it having drawn pictures, what Linda Krantz did was she took and she painted some rocks and she uses those rocks, the fish, to tell her story. And this book talks about how there is only one you in this great big world and how you have to make the world a better place. Now, you'll see in this picture that there's a mom fish and a dad fish and a baby fish, and that these parents are telling the little fish words of wisdom that they hope will carry throughout the baby fish's lifetime. And here are some of the pages that I particularly like. This first one is, always be on the lookout for a new friend. Isn't that really important? You can always use a new friend. And if you look at the picture, you can see that these fish are different than those fish. And our friends don't have to be just like that. We can all be different. That's what makes our friendship special. Another page that I really liked was this one. Find your own way and you don't have to follow the crowd. I think that's really important too. Remember, if someone's doing something that you don't like, you don't have to go along with it just because they're doing it. You can do the right thing. So you can see here that this fish is going the other way because they don't like what the other fish are doing. They're finding their own way and that's really important. And this page might be my favorite. Make wishes on the stars in the nighttime sky. What do you think those fish are wishing for? I don't know. What would you wish for? if you were one of those fish. I don't know, I'm thinking, I think I might wish that I could paint rocks like this. Oh, and guess what? Your wish just came true. So today what we're going to do is we are going to paint a rock fish, just like Linda Krantz painted in her story. So what we need are some supplies. First thing we need are some markers. They could be regular markers, they could be watercolor, they could be permanent. We'll need some rocks. We might need a pencil to draw on our rock before we color it. We need some crayons if you don't have any markers. And that's about it. So the first thing I need to do is I needed to pick a rock. Now I have some pretty big rocks, but you can go right outside and you can pick a rock up and you can use that rock. But the first thing you do need to do is you need to wash it off and make sure it's clean and dry before you paint on it. So this is my rock. And now I have to pick a fish that I'd like my rock to look like. So I could use one of the rocks from Linda Krantz's story, or you could just use your imagination and make your fish look like anything. So I have my fish that I made a sample of right here, and I think she's really cute. So I think I might make a different kind of fish today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna pick a color and I'm going to pick red today. And I'm going to make a line that's about one third of the way down the rock. Now what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm going to try to take that line and I'm going to try to bring it all the way around my fish. Now the hardest part is to get it to meet when I come back to the beginning. And I could go around maybe two, three times, make it a little thicker, just so that it's not so thin, makes it easier to see, all right? Now I'm gonna give my fish a face. So I'm going to take a black marker and I'm going to make a circle for the eye. So about, right about here. Whoops, might wanna use a point of that marker. Right about there, I'm gonna make a big circle. And then inside that big circle, I'm gonna make a littler circle. Make it a little bit smaller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what color I'd like to make the inside of my eye. And I think I'm going to make it green today so it matches my eyes, just like that. All right, then I'm gonna make the mouth. And my mouth, I'm going to make almost like a sideways heart. And I'm going to draw my heart sideways like this. And I'm going to color it in red. And then I'm going to trace it with a black marker because this way it looks just like a sideways heart. But if I trace around it, 
the outside, and then one line right through the middle. It looks more like a mouth. Now, I have to decide if I want to keep my fish white, if I want to make them yellow, if I want to make them a different color. So I think I'm going to pick yellow today. Oh, that marker doesn't work. How about I'm going to pick this marker today? And I'm going to color. And like I said before, I can use markers, but I also could use paint. If I have paint at home, I could use a paintbrush and make it a little bit easier to paint like the face I'm doing right now because it would be bigger strokes. So I'm coloring my face all yellow. If I wanted to color it orange, I could color it orange. If I wanted to color it pink, I could color it pink. Are they pink fish? I don't know. Use your imagination. So now I've got my fish face all yellow and I have to decide how I want to do the body. So I love stripes. So I am going to take my green marker, just like my eye, and I am going to make stripes along my fish. And you can continue that all the way around the back. And then I like stars. Stars are my favorite. So I'm gonna draw stars on my fish. Do fish have stars? Probably not, but it's my fish and I can make it any way I want. All right. And now I love polka dots. So I'm going to get some orange and I'm going to make dots all over my fish. He's a polka dotty kind of fish. All right. And then what else could I put on him? I don't know. Maybe I could add a hat or some glasses or a mustache. Maybe I might give him some pants. I don't know what I'll do to my fish. What are you going to do to your fish? anything. You can do anything you want to your fish. And if you have extra rocks, you could probably make an entire school of fish. I love these fish. Now these fish fit right into our book today. But if you are done with your fish and you made your school of fish and there's some other fish that you'd like, but other things you'd like to make, you might be able to take a, a rock, and this was a little bitty rock, and make like Captain America. He's awesome. Or you might make a beach scene and I see the sun and the water and the sand. How pretty. Or here's one with a nice palm tree on it. Or this one just has some happy green feet. Make whatever you want. So if you have extra rocks, feel free to make whatever you want. And I love your rocks. When you see me next time, make sure you show them to me. And I bet you they look just as good as the ones in Only One Fish, written by Linda Krantz. And if you like this book, make sure you check it out at the library. Thanks everybody, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.